Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Friday, the 13th of May, 2022. Yes, today was Friday the 13th. Um, let's talk about what happened today. First of all, I did not play Evil Dead. I'm well aware the game came out, but as I've been telling my audience for the past uh, week or so, I did at one point check it out. I watched a 30-minute in-depth deep dive into the game from someone who had access to the beta. The game literally looks to me like another game in the same vein as, say, Dead by Daylight or Friday the 13th. It looks like a game that would likely be fun for one to two sessions tops, but if you have a group of friends who you play with all the time, it's probably way more fun. You know that's not the kind of content creator I am. I mostly fly solo, and I really don't have an issue with that. So I decided I don't want to play it. I just don't want to play another game that's like Dead by Daylight, even though, yes, there are some variations. There is a single-player mode that plays kind of like Dead by Daylight. I'm just not interested, okay? <clears throat> so what did we do today? On the pre-stream podcast, we had a bunch of news to talk about, and... You guys are currently still voting, all right, on the cuisine that I'm going to be having for my special uh, Feasting with the King tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a moment when we talk about tomorrow. But it's a triple tie, and if you guys have not voted yet, I just want to let you guys know, please vote. You have overnight to vote, okay? So please, by all means, vote, because if you vote, that will allow us to figure out exactly what I'm eating. If not, if it's a triple tie... I may honestly just go ahead and uh, I might go ahead and just pick anything. I don't know. We'll see. Okay? But anyway, triple tie. We'll see what happens overnight with that. The poll is on the main channel page of DSP Gaming under the community tab. All right? Um, mainstream today was Skyrim after. Well, it used to be Skyrim after hours, but it's not because now it's a daytime stream. You see? Um, Skyrim was pulled from being a night stream to being back to a daytime stream again because I wanted to have something to alternate with WWE 2K22 and there really is nothing new in the next couple of weeks that I'm interested in so I figured Skyrim and WWE on the daytime streams would be a good mix, okay? It did pretty good. Attendance was decent. It certainly wasn't high. Like, it wasn't 300 to 400 viewers like I was getting for Elden Ring. It was around 200 to 300 viewers. Uh, support was decent. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. We didn't hit the $100 tips goal, but we were just under... And we had some super chats in there. So nothing to really complain about. It was pretty decent stream and we had a lot of fun. We actually got a lot further in the Dragonborn DLC and I had a good time. So good stuff there. Um, the night stream, Street Fighter. We had five, se excuse me, six sessions left of the 30th anniversary collection until it's retired. And then we're going to play the new collection, Capcom Fighting Collection. Well, we played on PlayStation again, and again, as usual, it was hit or miss. Yes, we had Jose, and we had Goji Tanks following me all along and all, all over the place. Yes, the collection was crashing a bit, but we did manage to stay in lobbies longer than the last week and the week before. It was good in that regard. Unfortunately, I would say there wasn't too much good competition tonight. Maybe a few small handful of people who were challenging, but outside of that, not too many. It really feels like this collection is at the end of its life cycle it's going to be done soon it was still a good time and support was great for the first time in weeks we hit the hundred dollar tips goal i wore the bison hat and yes i went on a big m bison win streak so if you didn't see that check it out the video should be on demand momentarily if they're not already visible okay pretty good so five more sessions of the 30th anniversary collection until we retire it and then we move on to the capcom fighting collection in late june Also today, I downgraded my webcam from 1080p back to 480p for gameplay. We had zero issues. We had no major frame drops. We had no microphone malfunctions. It seemed to fix all the technical issues that have been... Boy, my hair is all screwed up today. Uh, it seemed to fix all the technical issues that we had had the last few days. So it definitely was the culprit. The 1080p webcam was the culprit, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is the big one. Tomorrow is what you guys have been waiting for for weeks. It is the one year... Return to YouTube Anniversary Marathon event. I'll be streaming starting at 10.45 a.m. Pacific Time all the way through the day. What are we doing? First thing we'll do is a pre-stream podcast where we'll walk down memory lane and I will recap my experiences, both the pros and cons, of moving off of Twitch and coming over here to YouTube full-time in the last year. Some people may be able to renew their memberships for the full year and get the new Regal Crown tomorrow. We'll see. I think we're about that day. It might be on the day, okay? Um, 
Then we're ordering food based on the polling that you guys are voting on overnight for Feasting with the King, okay? The first major segment after the pre-stream podcast will be DSP reacts to Down the Rabbit Hole Dark Side Phil. Only a 30-minute documentary about me, but I got so much to say, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes hours to get through. I'm going to be elaborating on my history in the Street Fighter community and the behind-the-scenes things you've never heard of. I'm going to be talking and elaborating about my early days as a YouTuber. All kinds of information will be revealed for the first time in this special event. So I hope you will be there tomorrow. It's going to be hype. Then once that's done, it's time for Feasting with the King, where I'll be eating a meal live and sharing that with you. Always a good time. And then after that, we're doing our first ever WWE 2K22 30-man over-the-top rope fantasy battle royal sims. That's right. I got the characters tonight. I'm ready to go. It should be hilariously fun. We've got all kinds of fantasy characters. We've got real people. we got all kinds of stuff that's going to be in this cool battle royal. All right? <clears throat> I have not done one since 2018. So this should certainly be interesting. I hope you guys will join me for that. It should be a good time. And then if we have extra time, I don't know what we'll do. We could do Q&A. We could do a random game. We'll see what happens. All right? But it should be a great event. If you can be here tomorrow, please do. It'll be a good rallying call for people to become members because we need to hit 450 members this month to do the next React event. We are way off. Maybe we'll get a rallying of members tomorrow. We'll see. Then on Sunday, we resume regular gameplay. It's going to be the continuation of WWE 2K22's My Rise Career Mode, paired with Halo Infinite Multiplayer. And then on Monday, it's more Skyrim, paired with Mirror's Edge. So we do have two solid days of full gameplay to end the streaming week. Okay? Good stuff, guys. I am very excited for tomorrow. Someone actually asked me such a silly question on the late stream tonight. They said, Phil, are you, like, nervous about tomorrow? Are you... Are you like antsy about doing this react to your down the rabbit hole. I was like, what? No, everything that's in that video is public knowledge. Like literally everything in that video is on the internet, publicized, you know, well-documented. Some of the things are embarrassing, of course, but they're real. I'm not afraid of truth. You know, I have a lot to add, actually, to the things that we said there. And by the way, not everything that I'm going to tell you is a good thing about me. So a lot of it's going to be bad stuff about me that's probably not going to make me look so good. But I'm happy that I've grown and moved on from that phase of my life, and I feel like I'm a better person now. That's really the purpose of doing this, you see? So, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. I can't wait for the event. The marathon is a go. Peace out. See you in the morning.